So far, the story of the New Jersey Devils season has been a couple of 5-2 to two losses, both on the road at Philadelphia and at home to the Detroit Red Wings last Saturday. But today, they come away with an emphatic 4-2 win over the Anaheim Ducks as they go on their East Coast trip. The Devils finally breaking into the win column and getting two points at home. I'm James Burley for WFUV Sports. Early on in this game, it was all Devils. They controlled the pace and the attack the entire time. However, they did go down 2 nothing at the end of that first period thanks to a couple of goals from the Ducks' longtime winger, Jakob Silverberg. The first one right off the draw from Isaac Lundstrom. He snapped it home past Mackenzie Blackwood through traffic, just beat him glove side, 7.57 into the period. And then 13.08, Silverberg again after a little bit of a scramble in front of the net. Mackenzie Blackwood loses his stick and really in close. Nothing he could do. Silverberg finds the back of the net again to make it 2 zip We've been talking about goaltending all season long and going back to last year for the Devils. They had seven different goaltenders due to injury. This year, they come in with a duo tandem of Mackenzie Blackwood and Vitek Vanacek. Blackwood got the nod in that opener against Philly and gave in a few soft goals and route to the 5-2 loss. Vanacek gets the nod against Detroit, gave up a few soft goals and route to another 5-2 loss. So they refer back to Mackenzie Blackwood tonight. A couple soft goals in the first period from him, but other than that, he was pretty solid throughout the second and third period as he did not give up any goals. But that's not to say that the Devils did not control the entire game. Their defense structure was better than it has been all season long, except in that first period. Mackenzie Blackwood did have to make a couple nice saves, notably the double save on Lundestrom in that second period. But that is when the Devils' offense turned it up too. Despite outshooting the Ducks through all three periods, it was the second one where they really turned on the Jets. Andre Palat opened up his New Jersey Devils account four minutes and 17 seconds into that second period. Ryan Graves is shot, blocked by the New Jersey native in net for the Anaheim Ducks, Anthony Stallers, after their usual starter, John Gibson, got the nod against the Rangers last night. Palat is there to, fl- to finish the rebound, excuse me, to make it 2-1. to one. Ten minutes later... It's Nico Heeshear in a very, very similar way. The puck careems off the backboard off of a shot from Jesper Bratt, comes in front of the net, and Nico Heeshear is there to tap it home. The score, 2-2 at the end of two. The Devils doubling the Ducks in shots at that point, 34-17. Then into the third, early on, it's Bratt again who gets the assist, just weaving around the Ducks' defense in the offensive zone. A cross-ice backhand pass, a one-timer for the Devils' best defenseman, Dougie Hamilton, who snaps it home. And right then and there, everyone knew in the stadium that it was going to be Devils all the way out. Dawson Mercer, in his sophomore season, had a great rookie campaign, especially in the first half of the year. Slowed down a little bit. Finally gets his first in many, many games now. His first of the season from Sharon Govich on the feed. It's Mercer in front of the net to make it 4-2 New Jersey. Still a lot of hockey to be played in this season, of course. But the Devils have righted the ship for now. Lindy Ruff was getting calls all of last season to be fired, and in the first two games, Devils fans wanted his head. They made that clear in the first period, fire Lindy Chance throughout the Prudential Center, but as we ease into the second period, those began to subside, and the woo Ric Flair Chance from the Devils faithful came out, and the Devils deservedly go away with two points at the Prudential Center. Jesper Bratt and Jack Hughes each with two points, a pair of assists for each of them, Our three stars of the game, Nico Hishir with a goal and an assist. He gets the third star. Palat, who opened it up, the scoring for the Devils. He gets the second star. And the game-winning goal, Dougie Hamilton, is the first star. The Devils will be back in action on Thursday as they travel to Long Island, UBS Arena, to take on their division rivals, the New York Islanders. Follow along here at WFUV Sports' YouTube page for Devils content all season long. I've been James Burley. I'll see you guys next time.